I think the situation in Tunisia is really complicated. We see demonstrations everywhere. Uh, youths are not really satisfied with the current situations, especially economic situations, um, but also about freedoms. We've seen lots of people getting to jail, uh, going to jail for different reasons that mainly go back to uh, freedom of speech. Uh, so I don't think the dreams of uh, Tunisian youth, ha youth has really uh, changed. Uh, ever since the revolution. I think it's mainly about freedom, um, uh, getting uh, implicated in uh, the social and uh, um, um, political life too. We're still uh, fighting and we're still uh, there and trying to prove that we're not going to accept any more um, limitation of freedom or anything like that. And we're trying to get more freedoms because there are many um, rules and many um, things that really do not um, apply to our current situation and to the democratic aspect of uh, Tunisia. There have been a transition in the systems uh, and, and in everything. Even the mentalities have developed. Uh, the dreams and hopes of youth have, haven't changed a lot because uh, true there are more liberties today but youth haven't uh, achieved what they uh, made the revolution for. Women in Tunisia have played uh, not the traditional uh, roles like uh, in the other Arab countries. Women didn't stay in, at homes. Women went uh, on the fields and protested against uh, the dictator, against the system, and uh, actually were activists and uh, worked a lot uh, that, uh, so that the revolution uh, succeeds. Came about more implication of youth especially girls, in the civil society and political uh, uh, main uh, decision-making uh, positions in the government.